Hey YouTube, Bryn here. Thanks so much for watching. This is my DIY 90s Chanel inspired suit. Safe to try for anyone because girl, I have beginner sewing skills. I picked up this two-piece suit at Chanel, at, no, at Value Village a couple months ago before this whole coronavirus lockdown. I thought that it had a Chanel vibe to it and that it could be transformed. First, I start off with the shoulders. I had to get rid of those shoulder pads. They were not for me. Using a seam ripper, I ripped the seam very gently with gentle pressure. Then, once I got the padding out, I did the same thing with the seam ripper. I also decided to take off the sleeves so that I could shorten them and make them tighter around my arm. I got the inspiration to do this because I saw these 1995 Chanel runway looks. One of them that was my favorite was Naomi Campbell in her green Chanel jacket. I cut out the lining because it's such a slippery, fake satin, polyester, whatever it is. I decided to crop my jacket at that bottom seam. It made my life so much easier. So I turned the jacket inside out, or right side in is what it's called in sewing, so that I could begin to pin. I decided to just follow my natural waistline with the pinning. Then I just pinned myself into the jacket, I pushed the pin through the back and then pulled it through the front. YouTube helped me so much along the way. Whenever I had a question about how to do something, I would just look it up on YouTube and find a video on how to do it. So once I pinned myself into the jacket, I trimmed off the bottom because there was no point in sewing the bottom as well since it was gonna be cut off anyway. Now to sew. Make sure that both of your strings are facing the back of your machine. Put down your pressure foot. Straighten out your garment. And then Press on the pedal. Whenever you sew, make sure that you reverse stitch at the top and the bottom of your seam. This will secure it and make it extra snug. If you have any questions about threading a machine, learning about a sewing machine in general, feel free to ask me. To make sure that you sew straight, put pressure on the garment, but not too much that it won't glide through. It's honestly just practice and finding the balance, getting to know your machine. Once I reach the bottom, I reverse stitch again. Lift up the pressure foot, take the needle out of the fabric, and cut the strings. 
This look is very Joe Exotic. I tried on the jacket to make sure I could button it up and that it fit, and I really actually like how the fit came out. Now to sew back on the sleeves, this was something that was actually fun to learn. So you have to make sure that your jacket is right side in and that the sleeves are right side out. Then you tuck the sleeves in to the corresponding shoulder hole. Once you have them in place, open up your jacket and make sure that everything's facing the same way. Then I pinned the sleeves into place, making sure that I left a hole for my arm to fit through. I was really happy with how the jacket turned out. There was a little bit of a bubble at the shoulder, but other than that, I'm pretty content. Get it, girl. The skirt. I underestimated how much weight I gained during this whole lockdown because I thought I was a size zero when I pinned myself into this. Honestly, I did not give myself enough room. I couldn't fit it over my hips when I put it back on after sewing. So just make sure that you give yourself a little breathing space. When you're sewing, if it still doesn't fit, it's too baggy, you can always cut off more fabric, but adding it back on, mm, not cute. Another thing is that I regret not cutting out the satin in the skirt. It was super slippery and my machine kept getting caught. I was just not comfortable working with the satin, polyester, whatever. Now I'm going to finish sewing this side of my skirt. This lining kept getting caught yesterday when I sewed the other side, so in hindsight I would have ripped this out. And then I'm going to have to hem the bottom, and I'm just trying to make sure that this zipper stays in the middle. Another problem. Now my garment is stuck in here. My needle's up, I don't know why. Something is jammed in here. Do I rip it? What do I do? Do I take off the pressure foot? <laughs> the thread is all caught up in my bobbin. So I'm just going to pop these out and then pop out that bobbin. Ooh! I was definitely not sewing my garment. Let's give this a snip. Cute. So to put my bobbin back in, I pop in the wheel for the bobbin first. Then I take the metal circle thingy. I don't know the names of these things, but you put that in second. And then I snap my bobbin in to the little hole at the top. So as I was reading my manual, I realized that I had probably not threaded this fully because I didn't go behind here with the thread. There's a little slot where you put the thread that's coming from up here. So good to know, I completely forgot that step. So now that I've re-threaded my machine, hopefully everything's good. Yay, it's working again, finally. So I miraculously fit myself into this skirt. 
it is definitely too tight for my liking but I kept working and hemmed the bottom then I cut little slits at the front and the back I thought this would be a really cute addition to the skirt To add the black trim, I hand sewed it because it was really narrow and I thought I couldn't sew straight enough, so I just did it by hand. I'm really liking how the trim is coming together. So I'm gonna continue to sew it all around here. And I'm almost done, yeah! Finally, I took my seam ripper and frayed the bottom hem because I ran out of that black trim and unfortunately, everything's closed, so I couldn't even buy more. This is the final look. For a beginner, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Let me know what you guys think below. And here is the finished result. This was so much fun to do. It was challenging, but it felt good to make something of my own. I paired it with a black hat, black nails, black bag, black shoes, black bralette. It definitely doesn't look like real Chanel, but if I got a couple more accessories like a belt or a little brooch or brooch, however you say that, it could be cute. Definitely too tight in the skirt. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. This was definitely a very challenging process for me, but through it all, Looking back on it now that it's finally done, I really enjoyed the whole learning process. Mistakes really helped me get through this because I learned from them. And now I feel like I'm gonna be better the next time I try to sew something. Comment, give me any suggestions for future looks that you want me to recreate or future thrifts that you want me to flip. See you next time.